Hey guys, Vizio here and as you can see on the screen right now, I'm installing Windows 11. And as you can tell, it is not an ISO file which you might have seen in one of my previous videos. This is the official update that is rolled out by Microsoft and in this video, I'll show you how you can update your computer to Windows 11. And even if you go to your Windows update right now, you won't be able to see it. Uh, you won't be able to see Windows 11 update in your Windows update setting. Now, in order to do that, we need to toggle on a setting. And in this video, I'll just teach you how you can do that real quick. So again, this is a developer's build. It's not a stable build. If you want to wait for a stable build, that will be released somewhere later in this year. The official date is not as of yet uh, announced by the Microsoft, but it is said that by the end of the year, we will receive a Windows 11 stable update. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to press that bell icon to never miss an update that I bring on this channel. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started into the video on how you can install Windows 11 officially, legally, ethically. Okay, yeah, that's a lot of adjectives. Let's just get into the video. The first thing that we need to do is go to the settings, then to Windows Update. That will be the last option that you see in the settings page. And here you'll have to select Windows inside a program. Once you're here, click on this link. And enable this second option. Now, go back and click on Get Started. Now, the first thing that you'll need to do is link your Microsoft account. If you don't already have a Microsoft account in your PC, go right away and create a Microsoft account and sign it, uh, sign in with it. Now you'll have to wait for a few minutes and once you're done with that, you will see this pop up and now you can select which channel you want to install right now. So right now only the developers channel is released by the Microsoft and that is the reason why we're only going to select developer channel. But if you're viewing this video like two, three weeks after I upload it, you can also try out and see if the beta, if the beta version works. Now go ahead and restart your PC. Once you're done restarting your PC, go to the Windows Insider program and make sure it's set to developer channel. If it's not, go ahead and click on it and change it to developer's channel. Okay, next thing that we need to do is go on to Windows Update and click on Check for Updates. And as you can see, it's showing me that Windows 11 update is available for my PC. What you can do is uh, download it and it will automatically download and after it's done downloading, it will automatically install Windows 11 on your PC. So as you guys can see, the downloading is done and now Windows 11 is being installed on my PC. I'll just go ahead and let it do its thing. I'll just fast forward this part of the video. and restart and once we're done with the installation procedure just click on this restart button so why we are restarting is because all the files that our computer has downloaded they're going to be installed when the pc is restarting so this cannot be done while the pc is running and that is the reason why uh, we'll need to restart it and let it do its thing and as you can see windows 11 is installed on my computer it looks beautiful it has all the functionality that the iso file had and we will get regular updates from uh, microsoft so if you enjoyed this video if this worked for you definitely go ahead and share this video with your friends and make sure to subscribe to this channel i hope i see you in my next videos
you cry.